Hi, this is a quick video to show you how I make my handmade paper. Um, I want to apologise in advance because I used my iPhone to do a lot of the filming outside because my main camera that I use is sort of it's fixed in a position in my craft room and I don't really want to move it. So I use my iPhone um, and that is why it's quite rubbish um, quality, sorry. Um, I'm not very good at filming on the move and trying to use one hand to film and the other hand to do, um, at, you know, actually show the paper making. Um, yeah, it wasn't my fin finest moment, so sorry about that. Um, I just also wanted to do this little quick piece to show you my very technical equipment that I use. Jokes. Um, this is, well, I call it a decal, but it's my, hu my husband knocked it up for me. It's literally four pieces of wood. This is what I use for um, making my um, paper with. So it's, it's four pieces of wood that he's now together and in the bottom of that is um, it's like membrane that you would put on your garden to suppress the weeds. Um, so he's just stapled that to the bottom. Um, this is just, oh, you can buy proper equipment um, online on eBay um, if you just put in a paper making equipment or a, dec a decal or anything like that it will come up. Um, but me being the tight wad that I am, I wanted to try and use what I had already. In actual fact, I was using just a piece of um, muslin initially, and my husband felt sorry for me, I think, so he knocked this up for me. Um, and then, um, and then this is just one of those, you know, it's a plastic box, um, storage box that he's just cut down and that is what I pour all my water into so I have water in there and then I put my decal inside the water like that and then I slosh in all of the um, mushed up paper um, you know the paper mache sort of mixture and yeah that's basically what I use and then this is my sponge that I normally sponge off the excess water but you'll see that in the video anyway um, but I just wanted to show you um, what I use because I don't think you could really see it very well in the video um, because of my rubbish filming. So yeah, um, I hope it all makes sense and I hope you enjoy it and I hope it inspires you to have a crack at making some paper because it's really easy. At the end of the video I'll show you some of the papers. Um, so I don't think I said in the video I also add paint um, to, I, I normally make my paper with um, just uh, the plain um, paper all shredded up first of all from the from the paper shredder and then towards the end I'll normally start adding paint to the water and that gives you, you know, you can get all sorts of different colour options but it's, it, it's just, I love it, I love making paper because you can just be creative, you make your own paper you can put in it what you want it's you know sky's the limit and I hope that this video inspires you to have a go at it and as I say at the end of the video I'll show you some of the projects I've made with um, handmade paper and I'll also show you some of my handmade paper um, yeah okay So once you've whisked it up in your faux processor, you're just going to dump the contents into my handmade decal. Usually I make quite thick sort of paper, it's all cardstock really, and it would, I'll make two lots of this to go in this really big um, decal. And it's at this stage that I'm going to add whatever flowers I want or whatever petals, whatever glitter I want. So I'm going to probably put some, maybe some buttercups in this one. So I've got some nice buttercups in my garden. 
uh, or some rose petals. I've got some nice rose petals that I could use. So anyway, I'll show you when I've done it. So I've literally just pulled a little rose to pieces. And it's in there. I'm just going to swirl it around. Get them sort of evenly dispersed. I know it looks a bit of a grey murky colour at the moment, but actually when it dries, it dries to um, a really pretty, very light blue. I've got one here that's sort of almost dry. I don't know if you can, the camera will pick it up very well. If you might. And that one's got, what I've got in it? Now that one's got some daisies in it. That was one of my first attempts today and didn't come out too brilliantly, but anyway. Now I'm um, going to lay a cloth over the pulp, like so, and I'm just going to sponge out the water from it. I'll just keep doing this until all the water, or not all the water obviously, but a lot of the water, I get my finger out of the way, um, until as much of the water is, is out as possible. Once you've squeezed out as much water as you can, turn the paper out of your decal. Got some decal there. Just turned it out upside down. I'm going to let that dry in the sunshine. And here are some of the papers that I've already done today. I've got, I forgot to say actually that I, at the pulp stage, when I put the pulp in, that's when I add my petals or leaves or glitter, that's my shadow in the way, um, or glitter. Um, you know, whatever it is you want to add to your paper to personalise it. 